Thanks for choosing to worship with People of Hope. Our midweek Advent services feature Holden Evening Prayer, a sung liturgy. If you would like to sing along, the words will appear on the screen at the appropriate time. If you don't want to sing along, just sit back and enjoy a peaceful time of worship. Thanks again for joining us this evening. May you have a blessed Advent. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, and so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Now this was John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely, I am not the Messiah. They asked him, and who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of the one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way for the Lord. Now the Pharisees, who had been sent, questioned him. Why then do you baptize if you are not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptize with water, John replied. But among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me. The straps whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany on the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for worship on this third Wednesday in the season of Advent. Uh, for these Wednesday night services, we're exploring the theme that nothing is impossible with God. And tonight's title is, Can I Get a Witness? Tonight's the night when we celebrate the ministry of John the Baptist, the witness of Jesus being born into this world. And as I was thinking about John the Baptist, I was thinking about different witnesses to the gospel in my life. And this, these past few weeks, my memories have been drawn back to a man named Dennis. 
I met Dennis when I was on internship in Southern Maryland. Dennis uh, was an older man who had spent most of his life working for the U.S. Navy and had just recently joined uh, the staff at the church that I was called to be an intern at. Now, it was always unclear to me whether Dennis was paid or not, but he was there all the time. And Dennis was really willing to do anything that anyone asked of him. And I remember very clearly having um, a meeting with Dennis one day in, in my office, which was also the copy room in the basement of a house, not too unsimilar to the mission house here at People of Hope. And I asked Dennis a little bit about his faith story and why he did what he did. And Dennis shared with me that he hadn't been a churchgoer for much of his life. In fact, he was relatively new to the faith. But Dennis heard this life-changing, life-altering gospel of Jesus. This, this message that, despite his shortcomings and what he might have done prior in his life, that God loved him and that God would continue to love him every day of his life. And this message had such a profound effect on Dennis. There was nothing he could do but share that love of Christ with people. Now, Dennis wasn't the best at talking about his faith, so the way that he showed his faith and witness to the love of Christ was through action. He was one of those guys who knew how to do about just anything and was willing to, to share that knowledge and do those things for anyone who needed help. Now, I've not talked to Dennis in quite a long time, but, but Dennis has had a profound impact on, on my life and the way that I try to share the love of God with the world. And I know that Dennis is just one of those people for me, one of those people who have been messengers or witnesses to the gospel. And I know that just like me, there's people in your life who have borne witness to you, witness to the inbreaking of the kingdom of God, witness to the love of Christ in ways that, that are hard to put to words, in ways that we have a hard time imagining, especially when we're operating at our worst. So this evening, as we continue this na to navigate Advent together, as we continue on this journey to that blessed Christmas morn, let's take time to thank God for those witnesses. Let's thank God for the way that God chose to work through those people to bring us here to this place here and now, together, to worship and praise God. And let us remember that, that we serve as witnesses as well. Maybe it's through our words. More often than not, it's through our actions. But let us recognize that we are the conduits that God uses to continue to spread God's love in this world. Let us take this job and responsibility seriously. Let us be less concerned with what people think about us and more concerned that people come to know the God that we know, the God that loves unconditionally. Siblings in Christ, John is a profound witness. Dennis was a profound witness. I pray that I'm a decent witness. And I thank God for you and for the witness to God's love that you share with me all the time. May you be blessed as you give testimony to God. May you be a bold witness to God's goodness and love in the world. Thanks be to God. Amen. To a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You 
shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live
rest in your mercy. God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Let us pray. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, our Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. Your, your will, will be done on earth, earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from, from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God. And send thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and prop for all of our days.